Greetings Spartans and Spartan families. We're excited to welcome you to UNC Greensboro, and we're particularly pleased that you're here to learn a little bit more about fraternity and sorority life on campus. Greetings Spartans. Did you know that UNCG has over two dozen fraternities and sororities that add to the vibrancy of campus? By joining one, it's a way for you to get connected and make this large university feel like home. In this presentation, you'll learn more about what fraternities and sorority lives have to offer, what do they do on this campus, and how you can go about joining an organization. To begin with, what are fraternities and sororities? Certainly, you must have some type of familiarity, but we also know that there are a lot of misconceptions that lie there. Fraternities and sororities are value-based brotherhoods and sisterhoods, and for many, their involvement starts right here on a college campus. They begin as an opportunity to come together around common bonds and friendships. The organizations that make up fraternity and sorority life are primary social in nature, with commitment to service, philanthropy, and social action. There are other Greek-lettered organizations on campus that may come together around a specific focus or even academic discipline. These provide a great way to get involved as well. They just don't fall under our umbrella. One key way that fraternity and sorority life differ from other campus organizations is that you join not only an organization at UNC Greensboro, but an international brotherhood and sisterhood meaning that you'll have brothers and sisters all over the world. Fraternities and sorority life also provide an opportunity for lifetime commitment. While it might start in your college days, by no means should your involvement end here. Here at UNCG, our community is made up of 24 organizations across four broad counties. Each of our chapters are international organizations, meaning that they are both required to have a campus and alumni advisor that supports each chapter. A community that looks like society. Our community encompasses students that come from all different walks of life. These students are bonded together through a common purpose and set of values that form the centerpiece of their organization. University requirements. UNCG requires any individual who would like to join a fraternity or sorority to have their academic record reviewed by our office. The university requirement of a 2.55 cumulative GPA and 12 college credits must be completed. If you completed classes at a local community college where you receive credit in a college GPA and those match our requirements, you are eligible for recruitment. This gives students coming into UNCG the chance to acclimate themselves to the academic rigor of our university before also adding a fraternity or sorority commitment. Some students look to join as soon as they are eligible in their second semester, while others wait until later in their academic career. Since the fraternity or sorority life experience lasts a lifetime, there's absolutely no rush, as it's never too late. A variety of opportunities in our community are available for you, and they are represented by four councils. All righty, y'all, let's get started with some of the councils. The College Panhellenic Council is made up of all sororities and provides a space for women to grow in a positive and uplifting environment. Each of the four sororities is nationally a member of the National Panhellenic Conference. CPC primarily recruits in the spring semester. Oh, 
All right, y'all, so moving right along. The Interfraternity Council, better known as ISC, is a supervisory board that oversees five fraternities on our campus and is largely affiliated with the North American Interfraternity Conference. It establishes the rules for each fraternity in regards to conduct, academics, fundraising, and recruitment. There are opportunities to join year round, but the biggest push is during the formal recruitment period, which takes place in the spring semester. The Multicultural Great Council, better known as MGC, is a co-ed council and is the newest governing council in UNCG's Greek community. MGC exists to provide support, education, and programming for culturally-based Greek letter organizations. Rather than a centralized recruitment process, each of the fraternities and sororities of MGC conduct their individual intakes. Lastly, but certainly not least, the National Panhellenic Council, better known as NPHC at UNCG, is composed of historically black fraternities and sororities that make up the National Panhellenic Council Incorporated. Collectively known as the Divine Nine, we have six organizations currently active here at UNCG. NPHC organizations conduct recruitment at various times throughout the year based on chapter requirements. Each chapter will post flyers for interest meetings in various programs. Chapters individually outline a timeline and requirements for membership. Individuals are encouraged to learn more about each organization by conducting research, attending programs and events, browsing the national website, as well as contacting the NPHC leadership. Some advice I have for someone who's interested in going through sorority recruitment is to go in with an open mind. You may already have an idea of where you want to go, but don't let that be the sole focus of your time during recruitment. Be open to meeting everyone and make sure your decision is based off of the experience you had and the connection you felt with the sorority sisters. You want to join a group that you can see yourself being a part of and who you can already feel a genuine friendship with. Even if that ends up being different from the sorority you originally thought, that's okay. I would like to give some advice on navigating Greek life, specifically the National Panhellenic Council, which is the historically black sororities and fraternities. One thing that we value is discretion. So whenever you're thinking that you're interested in an organization, pretty much keep it to yourself. Do your own research. Don't join because you have a friend that's a member of some org. Do your own research and figure out what's best for you because what's best for your cousin or what's best for your friend might not be what's best for you. Also with that, definitely go to programs, make yourself known, make sure people in the organization know who you are. It makes it much easier if we can remember a name and a face. Other than that, be yourself. In an ever-changing world, fraternity and sorority membership offers an experience unlike any other that fosters connection to others, commitment to values, and a sense of belonging. Membership in a fraternity or sorority serves as a life laboratory where students can practice and hone both concrete and abstract skills that will serve them for a lifetime. Employers list skills such as communication, critical thinking, problem solving, and leadership as some of the most sought after traits in potential employees. And fraternities and sororities are a great place to learn these skills. The reason why I joined uh, Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated in particular was to really expand my network. Upon doing research and furthering my studies, I was aware that Alpha Phi Alpha had numerous amounts of accolades within urban communities as well as different endeavors with the federal government. I wanted to add to a high caliber group of men within society 
Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated has a lot of prestigious members such as W.E.B. Du Bois, Thurgood Marshall, Jesse Owens, Martin Luther King, Duke Ellington, the, the list goes on and on. And just to be able to say I'm aligned with those group of men is really honorable. On campus, you will find fraternity and sorority life students in just about every student leadership position. Those positions would include student government officers, activities and campus events executive board, resident advisors, peer academic leaders, Spartan orientation staff, homecoming royal court, student athletes, and the list goes on and on. Membership provides students with a variety of opportunities. The first, them being able to build bonds. By joining an organization, you're connected right there on campus. However, those connections extend further than UNCG. Members from across the country and the world are there for you when you need them. Extensive alumni networks, alumni associations, and graduate chapters can help make moving to a new part of the country a bit easier. It can also make this large university feel smaller. There is no doubt that having a connected friend group and a community of like-minded individuals make college just a bit easier. These like-minded individuals have a commitment to service, fellowship, and leadership that non-affiliated students may not share. Our fraternity and sorority community has supported many initiatives that would include National Hazing Prevention Week, Greensboro Tornado Relief Fund, supporting students through scholarship, Spartan Open Pantry, and more. It will also allow you to engage with others. Fraternities and sororities provide opportunities for students of all walks of life and identity to come together for a common purpose. Students from different parts of the state, country, and the world are brought together because of their membership. Chapters work together in philanthropy and community service efforts while supporting these initiatives and programs. Another benefit is you're able to forge connections. These connections are not just with one another or another chapter, but within the entire community. Chapters have collaborated with offices and departments to build better relationships, providing members with opportunities for internships, continued education, and community. Another benefit is having a network. Your network comes in a variety of ways. Within the chapter, within the international or national organization, within the Greek community, and also within the university. Opportunities our students have to build their own experiences and create opportunities are connected with the individuals that help them along. A lot of involvement comes from alumni members that come back during homecoming events, Founders Day events, and also special programs. Finally, there's some financial support through organizational scholarships. Each of these organizations has an educational foundation providing scholarships to its members. Members must apply to be considered for these scholarships. Our fraternity and sorority members strive for success both inside and outside the classroom. In the classroom, members tend to outperform their unaffiliated peers and consistently boast an average GPA of 3.0 or higher. Greeks are well positioned to succeed both because of the standards set upon entry and the robust support of academic success for its members. Each organization has an officer position dedicated to academic success that can help students in many ways, including connecting them to resources within the university. Beyond the classroom, a small community makes a big impact. Fraternity and sorority students number less than 5% of the undergraduate population, and each year you'll hear many Greek names and organizations called at the Spartans of Excellence Awards. Pursuit of excellence does not stop with their college days. 
both nationally and here at UNCG, studies show correlation between membership and persistence to graduation, entrepreneurship, preparedness for life after college, and well-being. Greek alumni go on to remain connected through their graduate chapters and alumni associations. Those continued connections become networks that may lead to opportunities. Recent UNCG fraternity and sorority alumni work in a variety of industries. Companies such as Disney, Apple, Amazon, a variety of school districts and medical facilities. Our fraternity and sorority students take the university model of service and their own organization's commitment to building a better world seriously. Annually, our community completes over 10,000 hours and raises more than $30,000 in support of local and national organizations. Our students are recognized for their efforts. Greek students were awarded the Phillips McCracken Scholarship and several of our Spartan Leadership Awards. And Chi Upsilon Sigma received the Student Group Excellence in Advocacy Award. As you may know, fraternities and sororities are dues-paying organizations. We know that finances are an important part of the decision to join, and we encourage you to make sure you know what to expect from any organization you're interested in joining by asking what you need to know, including what options exist for payment plans or scholarships, which many organizations have. While the dues are different from organization to organization, they tend to fund similar things. Dues can be considered an investment in your organization, but you should make sure you're getting a return on your investment. Dues often fund leadership academies and conferences that provide training for students, both for their fraternity and sorority roles and for valuable life skills. They also help fund the national offices which support the local chapter. One of the ways that that investment returns to students locally is in the form of leadership consultants who visit chapters and help with their performance and operations. Dues also help fund insurance, which we require all of our organizations to have. One of our chapters saw this return to them after a member was injured in an intramural soccer game. Because it was being played on behalf of the fraternity, their insurance provider was able to cover the cost for that student, saving his family the expense. When students are responsibly carrying out the duties of their organization, they are covered by its insurance. Finally, the dues support the local chapter's operations, and these are controlled by the students themselves. They may use them for organization business as well, whether that's funding a service project, putting on a campus event, or supporting their philanthropy. Membership in a fraternity or sorority is what the member makes of the experience. It is important to understand that these are student-led organizations, and they're only as good as those who are in leadership. Take advantage of the opportunity to hold a position within the chapter. You will develop knowledge, skills, and abilities you won't find in any other organization. There is a time commitment with fraternities and sororities, mandatory events, meetings, new member education or intake. All of these are designed to ensure the organization is following through on its mission and accomplishing its goals. In very few cases are students provided with so much responsibility. Joining a fraternity or sorority is a great way to build your professional skills for the future. A chapter functions like a small business, and the experiences you have as a member of a fraternity or sorority can help you once you graduate. Membership also means mentorship as both a mentee and mentor. Finding someone that can support you in the journey is important, and helping someone along the way will be equally important to others. You are not just representing yourself, but your chapter, community, family, and university. Member accountability is important. High-risk behavior is not tolerated, and each organization has developed a risk assessment plan to ensure members are upholding their responsibilities and values. Ask this question to the chapter. How do they live their values? One of the high-risk behaviors that is not tolerated on campus is hazing. Tragically, hazing has claimed the lives of fraternity and sorority members or aspiring members throughout the nation. At UNC Greensboro, our office works directly with our Office of Student Rights and Responsibilities and Campus Police to address issues of hazing, and we have removed organizations from campus for choosing to engage in such behavior. 
We make sure that students and families know of the resources available to them here on campus, including the previously mentioned offices, the fraternity and sorority headquarters, and the National Anti-Hazing Hotline. Here's what we'd love to see you get out of the fraternity or sorority experience. Become an active, engaged member of the fraternity and sorority community. Build relationships that will last a lifetime. Meet or exceed your personal ambition for academic success. Contribute positively to the campus community and beyond. Serve as a leader within and beyond your potential organization. Enjoy your experience as a UNCG student. And most of all, graduate. You don't have to wait to keep up with UNCG fraternity and sorority life. You can find us on social media at UNCGFSL on Instagram and Twitter. You can also follow our Interfraternity Council, College Panhellenic Council, Multicultural Greek Council, and National Panhellenic Council at the handles shown here. Thank you for your interest in fraternity and sorority life, and we hope to see you soon. We can be reached via email at capso at uncg.edu, by phone at 336-334-5800, or in person on the top floor of the Elliott University Center in the Campus Activities and Programs Suite. You can find us online at cap.uncg.edu slash greeklife, or on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at uncgfsl.